All right, so. So the, yeah, so basically this is a 4090. Yeah, this is a CNC mill block. And here you can see the coupling being uh, unscrewed. It's only, it's a couple of rotations of this one screw. Why we're doing it like this is uh, because we don't want to put any uh, forces on the PCIe. So right, you don't there want are someone some shoving would, it down. And, exactly, yeah. that, that would be deadly. So, so those click thing, those click disconnect, if you really push hard, and the springs in there need to be quite strong. So even after years, the valves close uh, securely. Yeah. You got that oh, issue with quite a lot of the coolants and though, like those those custom um, water cooling quick, quick disconnectors. If they if you leave if you uh, um, uh, um, connect disconnect them quite often or you leave them connected too long, they, the valves might not close, like because the O-rings get sticky. Um, over time in there, and then the springs aren't able to close it up. So that's anymore. basically it. Now you have to pull it up like this, and that's all. And that's basically how much liquid you have left. Just a, like a, a half a drop. Yeah, yeah. Basically a tiny drop. So nobody needs to be worried about having liquid, uh, like spilling yeah. liquid in their PC system. So yeah. So the, the Alpha Cool has some kind of a solution like this, but you need to put the block on to your own graphics card, and you get a lot of liquid. Now. So you that's want you can always... pause the video now because I have to be here to. Uh, can I pause? I think I, I just. Got... All right. So we pulled out the 4090 version. This is putting in a 7900 XTX version. Yeah. Vertically mounted GPU just for extra fun. Exactly. There we go. That's the GPU mounted. I could put the screw in there, but no. Oh, I think for the for the let's actually do this. I think uh, the, the for video actually the interesting part is the the quick disconnect connector. So this yeah. This we, no, like, uh, but, but if you want to show it, yeah, um, you can go ahead and help okay. me. In. Okay, so I'll just plug it in. Sorry, like that, and then here's screw. And in the end, you feel like, you definitely feel that it goes, even if it like... Yeah, I did it the other day and it, it stops. Like, yeah, it's yeah, not stops. like, oh... I... But also, also we have a failsafe here. Yeah, with, with a status LED. So the, the contact, if something's not contacting up, or if you haven't screwed it completely, yeah, it will light up. the system will light up and, and not start. So, so it's actually... Uh, but yeah. even then, it, it, it will not leak at any point. So at even if you only screw in the screw two rotations or something, it will still will not leak. You will just, if you only screw it in halfway, you will get, technically you will get worse flow, but the pump only starts when it's like 90% connected. Uh, yeah. Like this, then that's that's good enough. Um, then the system will work. Um, but basically you will see that it's flush here, yeah. and you will re you, re you did it yourself. You really yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you can see, so basically, we're reading uh, RPM and uh, I mean P PWM requirements from the graphics card. We are processing it here and we are sending it to back to our like main master master uh, PCB here that, and, and then they control. Uh, so basically we're sending, we have one wire and we, we're translating it so we can send RPM back and, PW, and multiple PWM in and multiple RPMs back also. So, because you can have multiple radiators, this, if you if you do this in serious connection, right. you, could do, uh, you could do a lot of different ones. I can do, I can do the plugging of this on your video, but I don't think you want to see. It. I'll pause there. <laughs> hey, thanks for showing that. Yeah, this is Tom's Hardware, Jared Walton with the Link Plus, their uh, custom liquid cooling solution for graphics cards that they're working to bring to market in the coming, I don't know, yearish.